said, my, my job is to take the school to the next level. The way, that, the way that I have devised my plan to take my school to the next level is to excite teachers about technology. If you can excite the teachers about technology, then it'll show in how they work with the kids, trying to get the kids to work with technology. Too many times I see uh, teachers uh, very focused in on their lesson plan. And what they want to do is go through their lesson plan like they've done year in, year out for the past 10 or 15 years. Technology is something that sits on the, on the table. They turn the machine on in the morning and if the, uh, at the elementary school level, if the, kid, uh, if the kid is good and finishes his work, he can go play games on the computer for a little while. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's good at the private or the public sector. More of the middle, people in the middle, if they want to get more bucks or more resources, are going to have to take more of a responsibility. And instead of technology, is just a way to pass the buck to somebody else. It's not that way. Technology is part of the process, like your phone work. So, what's the question? <laughs> it's not a question. You're confirming what I. What I um, the uh, the K-12 LTSP environment has allowed me as a teacher to really differentiate my instruction and to let students be more of their own uh, learn, to be their, a little more self-directed in their learning, um, to go ahead and if they want to enrich and they, and they have um, a particular interest in this topic, but not so much that. They're still going to learn the basics of all that, but they're able to get in much deeper to the stuff they're really interested in. And those students who have a tough time learning, dyslexic students, um, or students with other learning disabilities, still able to, to bring them up to speed with all of the other students without having to slow down other students. There's no need to put the cement galoshes on the good dancers, as uh, Aldous Huxley would say. Um, and, and so this, this environment has, has, is, is fantastic for that. Um, and back to your original question as to uh, what do we need to do to improve the schools? Um, first off, we need a commitment from the public of Hawaii to public education. And we need the public of Hawaii to say, I'm not going to stand for this, and I'm not going to stand for band-aids over a bleeding wound. We really need to think about how our whole society is on, a, in general. Who are we hiring? Are we hiring people at our local businesses from the mainland because they have a better education? Are we hiring people from the private schools because, oh, we think they have a better education? Or are we going to turn around and say, no, I'm going to demand more out of the public school and hire those folks? And so that's, that's kind of my end there with that. Also with the DOE, it, it, the, the bureaucracy is, is way, way, way too thick. Yes? Uh, in line with, with hiring local. Is there a curriculum in K-12 for computers and computer science? So either do you teach computer science? Does anybody teach? I, I, trust I, 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 I try to teach a unit last year. Um, what would that be at that, you know, at, at that level, the grade level? What it, the it's great. It, it, it didn't mean much for them. Okay. I started with this kind of little two-week syllabus because I had to get my science certification. Um, and it started as like, it looked like a, a college syllabus. By the time I got done, it was so dumbed down. But you know, I had taught a whole bunch of units because I took everybody's science class for two weeks at a time. Um, but basically, I, I'm a programmer, okay? And I, I can go right down to the, right down to the, the processor, okay? I used to program, I, I couldn't afford an assembler in my early days when I was out there, so I would use debug and write little assembly programs, okay? I've written Perl. Um, Could you teach them something like the decision table for planning a bank or a budget? 
Uh, I didn't have enough time for that. I, I had it's it though. It's a simple tool. Sure, sure it is, sure it is. But I had to get their attention. Yeah. With, with, That's the so I, I let them program some music in basic, okay? I let them do basic so they can do some programming. And I gave them other things to give them some concepts of programming. But, you know, I'm still learning. It took a while to learn that eighth grade mind. It's very difficult. You know? um, it's, it's not officially out there, but it's not your time. As an aside, and I'm a product of KIS, go Junior Silk Riders. <laughs> um, we used, when I was going there, we everybody took uh, a semester of uh, mechanical drawing and wood shop, and another one of, of metal shop. Does that still go on? What, what's the replacement for? What is the what is the industrial technology that's replaced that? We have one semester of BPA, which includes cooking, sewing, shop, and exploratory crafts. Um, yeah, no. And, and uh, Scott's teaching computer literacy. Um, thanks to present uh, political decisions, such as No Child Left Behind, and such as Act 51. Um, all of those courses are deemed unnecessary. Likewise, uh, fine arts and language have been let go. M uh, music as well. It is, uh, it is down to the core courses of math, language arts, social studies, and science. Now while I think all those are, are very worthwhile and necessary, unless there are outlets um, for students to, to work on their other modes of learning and their other areas that they can excel in, many students who don't fit in the uh, straightforward academic curricula get left out and totally turned off by education. Scott? Some, someone asked a question about the, the uh, curriculum for the public schools. As I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Hawaii Content and Performance Standards, the second version of it, which um, we were working with three to four years ago, had a very specific curriculum that started in kindergarten with keyboarding skills, familiarity with the mouse, um, and went all the way through 12th grade. At my level, fourth, fifth grade, the kids were, like, were to learn a spreadsheet, database, um, word processing skills, presentation skills. It was quite comprehensive. This year, with Hiccups 3, the technology standards, correct me if I'm wrong, have been embedded. So that when I saw that, I thought, oh my goodness, probably the state legislature or someone looked at the standards and said, we cannot possibly meet these standards if our kids in public school get basically 40 minutes of computer lab time a week and that's it. So that now, we are embedded, we have embedded standards, and, and I agree that the technology should be embedded, but unless you have specified skills and targets for your children, they don't get taught. I don't understand embedded. Pardon? I don't know what you mean by embedded. So there are... Overlooked? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the, um, if I think, wait, I'm correct. <laughs> um, I think um, she's alluding to Technology standards being integrated into the content area standards. So, in other words, instead of, for example, um, students will learn to use a word processor, and students will learn to uh, write using a word processor. It's in, it's in, the, it's in the language arts standard, as opposed to. Uh, yeah. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with? That's, that's how it is now. I, well, I think. Well, I was just getting at 
the problem with that 